What's up? What's up? What's up? Cosmic crew, what is good? What is good? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today I'm going to be doing the simplest, most basic video, guys. And I know for a lot of you, this might be just too simple. Like, why would you even add this? But to be honest, I get a lot of questions, you know, like some of the basic stuff that you think anybody would know, right? So basically, we're just going to go over this slide cancel, guys, and how this works in Warzone and with your Cronus, how it makes it so much more easier, guys. If you're not using the slide cancel mod in either the Taylor Drift script or the Pro Pack, make sure you turn it on. It's very, very simple. In the Pro Pack, guys, all you have to do is go down to the global mods and then hit slide cancel. Now, of course, you can use slide cancel with a combination of whatever other mods you want to use, such as the uh, Turbo Melee Shake Reload, which I do not use. Uh, I do not recommend Turbo Melee and Hair Triggers. I only use slide cancel, though, to be honest. That's just what works best for me. But, you know, in itself, guys, all you have to do, turn on slide cancel, and then you'll have to go into Warzone, go into your options, under controller guys this is very important make sure you have vibration enabled auto sprint does have to be on guys tactical sprint or automatic sprint I use tactical sprint if you do not have this on right here guys it will not work so make sure you enable that and then of course the controller vibration has to be enabled and then I'll switch back guys you can go back and like I said in the game pack itself you can block the game rumble same thing works for the Taylor Drift script guys now, of course, to enable it on the Taylor Drift script, you're going to have to actually go in on the menu on the LCD on the Cronus and then scroll over to the uh, Hop Shot and Drop Shot, I think, or the Jump Shot mods. And then it'll have an option for Slide Cancel. You'll turn it on for all profiles. Same thing applies, guys, as far as like having to have the in-game vibration enabled and then also having the uh, auto tax print enabled if you don't have this enabled the slide cancel mod will not work okay guys so what you're going to want to use this for guys is basically getting out of sticky situations moving around the map guys as you can see here i was trying to carry a buddy to a win and um you know we had a pretty tough lobby to be honest so we're having to take it slow but this helps as far as just getting away from the enemies as you see as you can see guys all you have to do is just tap circle or whatever slide button you use and you'll be able to slide cancel your way all the way out of danger or to the next fight. Um, it's very simple, but it's so important to use this nowadays, guys, with all the snipers you're seeing. You know, you've got to have good movement in the game, right? So this slide cancel mod is probably the most important mod, I would say, besides the anti-recoil. Uh, so definitely use this mod. Let me know what you guys think if you use the slide cancel mod or if you use any other mods, guys. I wasn't a fan of the auto reload, like I said. Uh, the reason why I wasn't a fan of the auto reload was just because of all the issues I had with it reloading. It seemed like it would it would cancel the reload on me too much, and it would just be very very frustrating. So, uh, you know, if it's doing that to you guys, like I said, I just recommend uh, you know kind of disabling the you know, fast reload, and then also you know with the turbo melee, I was experiencing problems wherever I would actually start meleeing when I was in the middle of a gunfight and I was still 10 feet from the guy. So I turned that off. The only mod I'm using right now is Slide Cancel. I will cover these mods, you know, in the next few weeks maybe. We'll do a, a mod video in itself. But, uh, you know, this is the most important, the Slide Cancel mod. It's so much easier than having to hit Circle Circle Jump, guys. So definitely use this mod. If you haven't been using it, you are missing out, guys. No doubt about it. Um, so that pretty much covers it on the slide cancel, guys. You do have to make sure you have those settings enabled. Like I said, I will do a video on some of the other mods. But I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest. Um, so what we'll do now, guys, we'll just kind of go over the patch notes that just came out today, guys. This affects a lot of the uh, guns that we're using, the AUG especially, and the FFAR. And there's also some minor gameplay you know, changes that are kind of fun and kind of neat that you might want to use. Um, we'll go over those patch notes real quick. All right, guys, so we wanted to go over these 1.34 patch notes, guys. Of course, we all know they did they did actually nerf the AUG, guys. So I'm pretty sad about that. Uh, I'm not very happy. Uh, but, you know, it, it is what it is, right? So with the AUG, guys, you're going to get more recoil now. And then also within itself to see the titanium barrel nerf. Now, this 
will also affect other guns, guys, not just the AUG. So if you use the FFAR or whatever other, other gun you use with the actual titanium barrel, uh, you might want to consider like maybe the takedown barrel or a different barrel. Uh, I'm still using the FFAR. It's still very, very, very good um, until they nerf it more. The AUG, you know, is just uh, it's up to you guys. So that's pretty much it, guys, with the actual nerfs and things like that. The AUG was the biggest thing, and then the titanium barrel. That's the only things you really need to know. Uh, there are a couple gameplay uh, things they added in, of course. When you do the zombie event downtown in the vault where all the paintings are, guys, if you get that zombie access card, or if you kill somebody, guys, and they have the access card on them, guys, all you have to do is go to the park bunker, and then all you'll, all you'll need to do is open that up, and you can actually buy a uh, foresight perk so you see all the in-game circles, and you can actually do something where you can bomb... A certain place downtown basically what it's gonna do is drop like 10 clusters on a certain area downtown so it's pretty cool check that out guys adds a little new feature something to do in the game itself um, but that's all for now guys read the rest of these patch notes if you want there's not a whole lot else to read into um, I think this will be a good thing for balancing the game overall I'll probably go to an a max FFAR loadout but I will be doing an M16 video very soon guys that's probably gonna be the next meta so pay attention to that I appreciate all the love. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.